The best kind of doors are the doors you have to explain. All right. Welcome, welcome to Unhinge. Today we have a very special guest. My name's Andrew Herring. I am vice president of business development at the National Glass Association. Okay, let's jump into the next one. You ready? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's, I think I know that project. <laughs> really? If you could zoom in on that door tag. Is perhaps the building tilted? Is this at the, the haunted shack at Knott's Berry Farm. I went first last time. I'm, I'm happy. I think this, this one's pretty, pretty clear um, on, a, on a few things. I mean, the hardware itself probably ain't too shabby. Just the, yeah, the no. side lights and everything around it. So the only thing I wonder is like, was the building going for an aesthetic? right is it perhaps a school are they trying to make it look fun i'm i hesitate to say inviting (laughs) but are they trying to make it look quirky by like was this purposeful or was it not purposeful it's the picasso art museum i think if that was the intent they need to make it a little bit more intentional because this is like slightly off to where you'd kind of like be walking by and do like a double take and it makes you, it unsettles you just enough to kind of un- feel unsafe. Am I having a stroke or what? It hurts you a little bit, right? Like there's like something off-putting about this picture. Uh, yeah. And it, those intermediates, uh, you know, even those could have a little bit more uniformity to it if it was intentional. You know, I get it could, they could be playing with some angles, but I don't know. I'm, I'm looking, I think I would see more play in the brickwork. I think it was existing <laughs> conditions that they just tried to match, but I don't know. I guess I would hope that it was on purpose or that's a gnarly callback. Yeah. Can you imagine being the owner signing off on this? Like, uh, no, let's, let's try this again. It's almost like an optical illusion because if you do just frame out the the opening, it's square and plump. Like it's a really good looking opening. Yeah. So whoever, whoever did the door hardware install, fantastic job. I would, I would give them props actually. It Picture looks, it. looks like a, a commercial entrance, very much like a school. They've got some nice medium style doors, good for high traffic. I mean, the hardware could be, could be great. It's got a nice fatty bottom rail. It's probably Probably got a really nice crash pad on the other side. The hardware is probably money. I it just it's uh, I don't want that in my building. Yeah. And apologies to whatever NGA member did that. If you did, it doesn't look as bad if you tilt your head a little bit. I don't know. Is that better or is that worse? I don't know. I think you have to tilt your head in the opposite direction because if you tilt your head in the direction of the tilt, it looks worse. But is wor- is worse better? Is this what we're going for? Is this? I don't know. This one mm. needs wine. <laughs> I don't know what the hell was in my coffee? I can't get in there too much. It looks like a clean install, so I I don't know. I, I bet you it had to be on. Me is probably right. It was probably on purpose and just not enough for my my taste. But yeah, I mean, I don't see any any bad caulking. I mean, it looks. There's no big gaps in the door. The glass itself looks pretty good. There's no deflection or warp in there. So I don't. I think it was some quirky architect. It's the architect's fault. Always. Do you have backstory on this one? No. No. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Wish I had more information on this one. Cat, any last remarks before we give it a knocking score? Well, we're rating the whole application or hardware or the entrance only. Yes. I do love the masonry work. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. This one's this one's okay to me. There's no way that was done on accident and someone signed off on that. Because the way they would have had to order that glass, even the fabricator would have said, are you sure? And like, you try, sign this in triplicate saying this is what you want. So I think this is a matter of taste, not my taste again. So I don't know. I'd, I'd give this one. A, it's not too bad. I'd give this one a, a two, two and a half. Yeah. Yeah. I would agree with you and not to step on your toes, Mia, but I would agree with you. I don't think it's very knocking bad in general. In fact, I think the, the hard where and whoever installed the glass did a great job just it makes you a little queasy at yeah. least me yeah well so i have vertigo oh <laughs> so, you have it before <laughs> looking at this before looking at this oh. but no i think this is if this was done intentionally it's a one i'm not gonna yuck anyone's yum so it's not my, it's not for me but if it was on purpose there's nothing wrong with what they did they made it to specifications <laughs> So I, I agree. And I, th- I think it would, I don't think we could find it. If anyone listening or watching this has info, I mean, I think it'd be interesting to see a whole building elevation to see what other openings look like on it to give you some sense of uh, theme or in design intent. But yeah, I'm, I'm with you guys. Or just more of these so we can make Mia even queasier. <laughs> Pound a beer, spin your head on this bat 10 times and <laughs> get out of this building. Yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly. Love, love it. It's the new fire code (laughs) okay are you ready for the final picture oh boy i have no idea what to expect given 
Was this a recent picture? Uh, ISC West. Yeah, okay. Did you take I, this picture? I took this picture. Is there a very large gap or is that like propped open one of the doors? Aside from being tied closed. Yeah, I think maybe someone tried to use it and mm-hmm. then like it's just pulled, <laughs> pulled open because mm-hmm. there's stanchions on both sides. Okay. Well, I, I can go on a, on a few. I mean, there's the, the, the glaring obvious uh, blocked exit. I don't know if there's more doors next to it, but either way, that's a no-no. I'm sure they had, hopefully this was just a really quick temporary fix. Something spilled or crashed and they had to improvise something fast, but you were there. Maybe you have more background of ignoring just that and that gap with some of the doors open. If you look at the the sill, it looks like it is ajar. Um, just that that bottom rail, that won't fly. That looks like a four inch. Um, that either needs to be 10 inch or it can be smaller, but it needs to have a tapered edge uh, to pass ADA and that does not i don't know where these lock if the, i can't tell if that's a lot if there's a lock down on the door rails but i'm not yeah. sure where these yeah, are I, secured I, there are like that that's code compliant just a personal preference that's a pain in the butt for whatever facilities manager has to get down there's so many options available right now to where you don't have to do that but that's just a preference that'll still pass an inspection and try rekeying one of those cylinders isc west you said yeah yeah which was in las vegas yeah yeah las vegas and so that door will perform like badly as far as heat transfer. And so I think unless this is, there's another set of doors before you reach the outside, I can see from the fl- reflection it doesn't. But that in Vegas, you got heat and you got wind like no other. And if you were there two weeks ago, there was a torrential downpour that's going to perform terribly with water. So for an exterior entrance or exit, that's going to let everything through that that's a hard no dog for me it doesn't look terrible those are just the things that i i pick up on yeah no uh great insight i actually didn't catch the ada compliance but you're, you're right it's got to be at least a, a 10 inch bottom rail for that to happen right or or the the lip yeah, you bottom. can you can do you can even do a four inch or a six inch but it has to have i think i forget what the degree is it has to have a tapered end just so there's no obstruction for a cane or a wheelchair or i think you can get away with it if you have power operators but even if you have those i've seen that shut down depending on who the ahj is oh yeah but the glass is pretty did it seem like it was temporarily blocked benji or did it seem like they've been using this for a while so i was there all week and i was up and down this area every day at least once or twice and it was like this the whole time i was there so at least it wasn't it should have been an emergency call it wasn't this was like temporary solution that probably got put onto the back burner man i bet you every building owner in vegas hates it when isc west comes to town and you've got thousands of geeks and nerds just analyzing and criticizing everything going through it fine tooth comb magnifying glass I bet you probably left a note on this door too every day you went. <laughs> I have questions. Um, Your no. friend Benji. I don't know if you guys wanted a little bit of backstory on this photo, but this is a very large, very well-known casino. That's the show floor. So one of the main entrances slash exits. I'm sure there's other emergency exits around, but if you are in a casino that have thousands of people in there and you're in a panic, you're probably just going to go towards the light. And this is just setting up for a massacre. People shoving up against the glass doors, not being able to get out. I always like look at these situations like what's the worst case scenario that could happen? And uh, this one scared me. Yeah, that's yeah. someone's going right through it. <laughs> I don't know. I can't <laughs> tell. Is that is that laminated glass in there? I, I couldn't tell yet. Because then it's definitely a death trap. <laughs> I mean, it looks, I mean, it's fairly thick. It's I just, I, on my screen, I can't tell if there's a seam in there. It looks like there might be or if I can't tell if I'm just seeing uh, the opposite side of the edge. If there is, that's good for, you know, all those hurricanes that happen in Vegas, but it's good for riots too. But if the door is blocked, it's definitely trapping people in. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's going to be hard to get through that. Even if it wasn't, I'm sure someone would break through. Do you Even think then, do you have to break through glass doors to escape an emergency? Well, hopefully never. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you only do that on accident. I'm just saying, if there, if it was just monolithic, you know, the first five people that try to run through it, yeah, they're not going to be feeling good, and <laughs> that's not going to end pretty. But at least I can run in after they break it and run yeah. out, <laughs> delicately step over them. Um, One of those situations where you don't want to be the fastest, right? Like you don't yeah, want to be the first. You don't want to be the pioneer on that frontier. <laughs> do you think you'd be able to untie the inside stanchion and then spread the doors wide enough to? untie the outside one 
Probably not with hundreds of people pushing up against no, it. No, no, but like if you had advanced warning. Maybe. That's that's like, I don't know, that's like double knotted there. That's that's wrapped around and twisted and I don't know, not yeah, pretty. Sardine canned in there, you know, with yeah. Coachella style crowd pressed against the glass. I, I don't, I don't think you're going anywhere. Yeah. Anyways, any last remarks before we give it a knocking score? It's very handy that they have an ATM right by the entrance. Just, you know, you never have to leave. That's good. You, you know, Vegas does that very well you know they like keeping you in in the house yeah very few windows you, they don't want you to know what time of day it is <laughs> pump in fresh oxygen and literally tie the doors closed <laughs> you, you know this was just a marketing ploy right to get more money from the, <laughs> ah, i can't leave i better go back and gamble more like yeah might as well uh knocking score i i don't know this there's this is more than aesthetics there's some actual code stuff going on here i i gotta give this one a, an eight maybe and then the performance factor yeah. Yeah. This one's pretty high. I think the only reason it's not a 10 for me is because you could break the glass. Uh, whereas if it was like a metal door, you're kind of stuck, like permanently stuck. Yeah. So I'm going to make sure I put one of those car break things in my purse. You know, the ones to break the, your car glass and cut your seatbelt. I'm just going to leave that in my purse when I go to Vegas. Yeah, good luck um, at TSA. <laughs> put it in my checked baggage. Well, I scored them a little kinder because I do like that for the stanchions, they use complementary colors, um, purple and yellow. That's that's there very you nice go. aesthetically. You yeah. And, you know, Laker fan from Los Angeles. <laughs> I, I, so they scored a little better. What do you what say you, Benji? Yeah, I would say this is uh, pretty bad, especially when you add the scale of number of people or the occupancy of the building is massive. And being a major entrance and exit, that's a big no-no in at least life safety code. Yeah, so probably, yeah, an eight or a nine or even like on the cusp of a 10, like, I don't know, maybe maybe not because they probably do have other exits that people could escape, but this would be initial reaction when people panic, they're going to head towards this door. Okay, are we done with this one? I think we are. I feel good about this. Thank you. Thank you, Andrew, for joining us. OG Glass Nerd, uh, excited to have you on the show. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it is actually. Okay. Okay. That's funny. That's funny. Um, yes. Uh, join us uh, next time for uh, the next episode of Unhinged. Our doors are always open because they're unhinged. If you want to be featured on a future episode of Unhinged or you have a photo to share with us, leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching.